There are a lot of unanswered questions in physics. How did universal energy and matter appear? Where did gravity come from? And much more. We've been trying for years to get answers to these questions. And one of the people who tried to do this was Paramahamsa Tiwari, the author of the so-called Space Vortex Theory. What is this theory, and what does it say about the hidden laws of our universe? Let's figure it out! Paramahamsa Tiwari was the former executive director of the Nuclear Power Corporation, India. He took the Space Vortex Theory, or SVT for short, first proposed by René Descartes, and finalized it. He was always inspired by physics and its greats, even since his days as an electrical engineering student. After rigorous studies of the laws of physics, he discovered new equations defining matter and the mass and charge of the electron. After that, he came up with the SVT. This theory tried to explain the unexplained phenomena in physics, including the creation of the electron and gravitational, electrostatic, and electromagnetic energy fields, as well as other things. It also described the six hidden laws of the universe that underlie our entire world. But first of all, let's talk about the theory itself. Space vortex theory suggests that the universe is made up of vortices, or swirling patterns of energy. And according to SVT, these vortices are the fundamental building blocks of the universe. They're the driving force behind the laws of physics and the fundamental principles of our world. Basically, everything in the universe is connected and interconnected through these vortices. This theory isn't very based on any real observations, but rather on mathematical models and computational modeling. For example, some computational models showed how these vortices work in hydrodynamics and plasma physics. They showed that vortices in such systems can have a central point of attraction and can be interconnected. Other models were used to study how the energies inside the vortices move and how they can create different frequencies and vibrations. But some experts have criticized SVT for using only models and simulations. The biggest criticism is that this theory can't actually be tested. It relies on mathematics and not on some experimental data. That's why it's not accepted as a mainstream scientific theory. But it's still quite interesting and provides a unique perspective on the universe and our understanding of the laws of physics. For example, according to SVT, the universe has some underlying, hidden rules that cause the creation of fundamental matter, their assembly, and movement. What are these laws and what do they say? Well, let's take a look at them. Law 1. The universe has only one primordial entity, space, i.e. absolute vacuum, that structures matter. This law states that space is the fundamental building block of the universe and that it's responsible for structuring matter. It suggests that space is the fundamental entity that creates and maintains the structure of matter and that all matter in the universe is made up of the same fundamental particles, like electrons and positrons. Let's try to put it in simple words. Imagine that the universe is like a big Lego set. Just like how all the Lego bricks are made up of the same basic building blocks, the universe is made up of the same fundamental building blocks too. And these blocks are called electrons and positrons. But what holds these blocks together? Space, of course. Space gives it shape and structure, just like how the plastic container holds all the Lego bricks together in a set. So, the first law states that space is the fundamental building block that structures matter and holds everything together in the universe. Law 2. Matter is constituted with multiples of only one kind of fundamental particles, electrons and positrons. This law states that all matter in the universe is made up of the same fundamental particles, the electron and positron. These two are the Lego blocks we've talked about before. And, according to the second law, these tiny invisible particles make up everything, from a tiny atom to a giant galaxy. Just like no matter what the shape or size our LEGO build is, it's still made up of the same building blocks. Law 3. The field distribution in space, as recognized by contemporary physics, linked with and emanating from matter, 
are effects arising from only one fundamental field in space. This law states that the fields recognized by contemporary physics, such as the electromagnetic and gravitational fields, are effects arising from a single fundamental field in space. It suggests that this fundamental field is responsible for creating everything that we observe in the universe. So let's try to put it simply. This time, imagine that the universe is like a big playground. All the different fields we observe, such as the gravitational and electromagnetic fields, are like different games we play in there. But no matter what we play, we're still in one fundamental space. This is the playground itself. It's the base that holds everything together. According to the third law, without the playground, we wouldn't be able to play any games. And without this fundamental field in space, we wouldn't be able to observe any fields in the universe. Law 4. There is no void in space anywhere in the whole universe except at the centers of the fundamental particles of matter, electrons and positrons. This law states that there's no truly empty space in the universe and that all space is filled with the fundamental field, the one we talked about before. It says that electrons and positrons can be found everywhere and even the things we consider to be empty, like vacuum, are actually full of tiny particles. And according to this law, the only truly empty spaces we can find in the universe are at the centers of the fundamental particles, electrons and positrons. Law 5. From only one fundamental universal constant, all the constants considered universal in contemporary physics are derivable. This law states that all the constants considered universal in contemporary physics can be derived from a single fundamental universal constant. It suggests that all the constants in physics are interconnected and can be explained by a single fundamental principle. I know you've been doing a lot of imagining lately, but bear with me. This time, please imagine the universe as a big recipe. All the constants in physics, such as the speed of light, the gravitational constant and the Planck constant are like the ingredients. They're very different and there are tons of them. But just like how all the ingredients in a recipe are interconnected and come together to make one dish, all the constants in physics come together to make the universe. And just like how a recipe has a main ingredient that holds everything together, physics also has a single fundamental constant that holds everything together. Law 6. The spatial structure of submicrocosmic fundamental matter is repetitive uniformly in the spatial structures of macrocosmic bodies like planets, stars, and galaxies. This law states that the structure of the fundamental particles that make up matter is repetitive and uniform across all scales, from subatomic particles to macrocosmic bodies like planets, stars, and galaxies. It suggests that the same fundamental principles govern the structure of matter at all scales. Let's go back to the analogy with the recipes and cooking. Using different ingredients and combining them in different ways, the chef can create new dishes. These will all be different dishes and they can be very simple or very complex. But when creating them, the chef still applies the same basic rules and knowledge they have, right? And just like that, the universe also creates different structures, from atoms to planets, stars and galaxies. But it still uses the same fundamental principles to create all these things. So, this law suggests that the structure of the fundamental particles that make up matter is repetitive and uniform across all scales. These are the six fundamental laws of the universe according to the SVT. And even though it's not accepted by mainstream science, it's still a pretty interesting concept. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.